everyone, this is Lisa Dickinson for JBS Mercantile and I'm here to share a sneak of the July paper crafting kit with you and also show you a page that I created with it. So this month's paper crafting kit is very patriotic with lots of red, white, and blue so it's perfect for scrapping all your summer celebrations. I always like to lay everything in my kit out and go through it piece by piece just so I can see all the fun things that are included. I've got all the papers laid out here in the cardstock. We've got papers from Studio Calico. There's some of the Pebbles Americana line, as well as some My Mind's Eye. And then we've got the two exclusive papers that I designed for the kit. It's a fun watercolor star and some flamingos. Then there's a sheet of polka dot vellum from My Mind's Eye. Of course, we always include an alphabet, and this is um, a neutral set of thickers. We have these chic tag labels that are um, gold embossed and the kit stamp, which is two little frames. Then we have these metal accents that come in gold, silver, and bronze from my mind's eye. This is our exclusive kit stencil that are these cute little vines. And this also comes as a cut file and it's a free download when you purchase the kit. We have a JBS journal card and of course our July flatback. There's some JBS wood veneer, these cute little dominoes, and then some vintage price tags. So when I first get my kit and I'm thinking about creating my first layout with it, I always like to try and find one element that really inspires me. Sometimes it's overwhelming to see all these patterns together and to know where to start. So I try to find just one thing that will get my design rolling. With this month's kit, one pattern that caught my eye was this mason jar paper from Studio Calico. I thought the space inside the jars would be great for journaling or maybe to hold a small photo. So I started by cutting out two of the jars from the paper. I'm going to start with this wood grain pattern for my background. I might swap it for solid cardstock later, but I think it's a good base for now. So after I cut out these jars, I flipped through some of the other papers and I noticed that these little flamingos on this sheet were just about the same size as the jars. So that might be another element I could work in with them. So what I started doing was cutting out some little banners that were approximately the same size as these jars. And I ended up with um, just a bunch of little pieces here like little banners and pennants and my idea was to string them all up on little kind of like clothes lines across the page. Obviously I'm going to add in some photos and journaling amongst all these banners but I just want to get these pieces laid out first. Kind of like that. So the mercantile kits always include a little something vintage and this month we have these little price tags. When I first saw these I thought about using them as pennants so they'll work really well in this banner I'm creating. I'm just going to put a couple of those in there. Now I want to make sure I have room for the photos so I have cut up just a couple pieces of scrap paper and I'm going to use these as placeholders just to figure out if the size is right for this design. And then once I've figured out exactly how many photos I want and what size they should be, I will go ahead and print them out. So I'm just going to do a little rearranging and try to space out all the different colors and patterns across these two rows. And I think that is coming together. The uh, colors and patterns in this kit are definitely summery, so I think I'd like to use photos that fit that theme. I have some shots that I took of my kids on the last day of school that I think would be perfect on this page. I can document our official summer kickoff and include a photo of each kiddo, and the summery color scheme will totally go with that. So this is looking pretty good. But I do have a few blank spots, and these might be a great place to incorporate the kit stamp. 
This square frame kind of resembles a flag, so I think it would fit in. Yeah, I like that. So I went ahead and I stamped the square frame on some white paper, and I did one in pink and one in blue. I really like how the addition of pink to this red, white, and blue keeps it from looking too Fourth of July-like, but it's still really fresh and summery. I'm thinking my title will fit in right down here, and I still need to figure out exactly how much journaling I need to include and where I'm going to fit it, so I need to consider that. But I'm ready to print my photos, and I think these sizes are working well. So I'm going to go do that, and then I'll be back. Okay, I've printed my photos, and they're about 2.5 by 3.5. And, and you can also see that I printed my journaling directly on this wood grain background. I set up the text to follow the two curved lines, and I set mine up in Illustrator, but I'm pretty sure you can do the same thing in Word. I thought that would be a good place to put the text because it will blend into the design fairly seamlessly. And it also gives me a nice visual line so I can line up all of these banners and pennants along the bottom edge. So there's a few blank spots in the center of these stamped frames and in my mason jars, and I want to add some details to them, just another layer of color or pattern that will add some more interest to my banner. So I went ahead and grabbed my scissors, and I cut a few shapes out of the pattern papers. I've got a few little flowers here and a star, and then I punched this butterfly out of the flamingo paper. So don't forget to look to your papers for embellishment ideas. Some of the shapes or elements within the patterns can make the perfect accents. Now to add some texture to my banner, I'm going to mix in a few of these wood veneer pieces. I happen to be looking at the dots on these dominoes and I realized that this one has three dots and my daughter just finished third grade so I thought that was perfect to include on her banner. And then this other domino has seven dots which fits perfectly on Hayden's banner since he just wrapped up seventh grade. And I know these are really subtle little details but they do tie back to my journaling and the page theme and I always love it when embellishments help strengthen the story. Now since I've kind of established a banner for each kiddo, I'm going to personalize them with a monogram inside the mason jars. I'm going to use one of the thickers here for Hayden, and then I'll grab an R for Riley and put it down here. And I think that this is looking good. I'm ready to commit to adhering all these pieces in place. Then I think I'll also add a row of stitching across um, the top of each banner and that'll help make the pieces look like they're hanging and that they're all connected together. Everything is now adhered and I also added a row of machine stitching. You can see my threads here hanging off the sides. So now I want to use the thickers to spell out my title which will be positioned in this lower right corner. I'm going to use a mix of the chipboard letters, which will spell out the word summer, and then I'm going to use some letter stamps to finish off the title work. So there's the chipboard portion of my title. And then for the stamping, I am first going to draw just a really light pencil line to help keep my stamping straight. So I'm going to line it up about the center of these letters and just draw a really light line and then I'll erase that later. So I'm going to use some small acrylic alphabet stamps and some black ink and I will use these to spell out the rest of the title.
right, we're in the home stretch now. I've adhered these flowers with foam dots and I stapled this butterfly and star inside the stamped frames. There's a few other blank spots I'd like to fill. And originally I had cut this little cow out of pattern paper and I thought it might fit here. But since he's facing left, it doesn't help lead the eye into the design. So I'm not going to use him. Instead, I think I will work in some of these chic tag stickers. There's some phrases here on the bottom that might work. This one says scenes from today. And I think it would fit in here, add a nice little bit of sparkle. I'm just going to trim off that edge and then make it fit right there. And then maybe I'll add another one down here. This one just says you and me. And then that'll bring the gold kind of across the page. And I think the last thing this page needs is just a bit more sparkle with these metal accents. I'm just going to add this little silver heart right down here. And then this silver star up here on this price tag. So I think that finishes this page off. I will give you a look at the completed layout. Thanks so much for joining me for this month's video. To get your kits and add-ons, and to find some great inspiration for using them, don't forget to visit jbsmercantile.com.